know, rubbing shoulders, you get strike up conversations, you start putting names of faces. I mean, it's emailing people is nice, but when you can actually face to face talk to somebody, it kind of creates a relationship, and really, that's what that's what being effective in this kind of position is, is having relationships with people that can help you do your job. That's really what the goal is behind this whole conference, is to be educated about what is going on, things that are already happened, things that are happening, and then we're going to deal with it, all the things as they come up together. There's been a lot of change in the uh, Wyoming School Facilities Department and Commission in the last 18 months to two years, and uh, I think with uh, the new director, Bill Panos, coming in uh, almost a year ago now, I think my members are very interested in coming in to see what direction the school facilities department is taking. We all know that it's been a very positive direction to date, and we want to hear the success stories that we've had over the past year with school facilities, but we also want to know where we're going here in the next year to two years. School facilities department constructs um, all the public schools in Wyoming because of our mineral-based economy, um, we fund 100% of our public school construction. We buy the land, we design the buildings, we build the buildings, maintain the buildings, and then replace them when they're um, either old or we need a, a larger facility. Since 2002, we've built um, well over $3 billion worth of public schools in the state of Wyoming. This is the highest rate of building of public schools in the United States. We really want our construction, contracting, and architectural community um, to be that, just that, a community. To understand that we're all connected, to understand that we have a vision. The second is, and by having Director uh, Joan Evans here, it's really to understand workforce and their workforce and workforce services, those things that are offered by the state of Wyoming, to help them as business leaders, to help their employees as they go through this process of building public schools. And then third is really to understand where we as a state are going from an economic point of view. And that's why Sean Reese was so important to have speak here. We've got a great showing from the construction industry here. We also have a very good showing uh, from the school districts themselves, mainly the facility managers from the school districts have come up. And I would say we've probably got a third to a half of the school districts in the state represented by their staff here today. The school facilities department and the commission and the contractors that are partnering on this are all uh, stakeholders in what we do on a daily basis. So those kind of partnerships are very important to us as a firm. Uh, making sure that we all hear each other and understand where each of our perspectives are coming from is vitally important. And we spend a lot of the time on the road or on the conference call. And being able to make a personal connection face to face is really important to us. Construction isn't just a general contractor building a building. It's not just a, a, an electrician running wires. It's everybody from the owner to the architect to the general contractor to the trade contractors to the suppliers all working in unison together. And so that's the importance of getting to know these folks. Yeah, I, I know our guys hope to meet some of these folks, build some of those relationships and hopefully get work. But even more importantly is already having an existing relationship with these people when our guys do get to work so that the, the whole project just functions more smoothly. Every, every town and every place that you're from, there's a connection to the, to the education part of where you're from. And the opportunity to have an impact on how people learn and how they engage and keep interested in education is important to us as a firm. But for me, the real success is what happens after the conference. What happens in terms of their um, using the information that the conference provides and their feeling about it that it's valuable to them and their business.